Hey, how you doing, guys? Um, for this uh, topic for this week, we're gonna uh, feature a one of uh, Canon's camcorders um, designed for the um, photojournalist or professional. And I think this camera would make an excellent B camera or even a primary camera in certain situations. And we're gonna focus on both. And first, we're gonna cover the uh, Canon XC10 and why. Um, it has many professional features. For instance, um, the recording codec, uh, which I consider broadcast cinema quality, is an uh, MXF codec, um, up to 50 me megabytes per second in 1080p, and um, up to uh, 305 megabits per second in 4K. Um, it also records in the 422 color space, which gives you twice the amount of color data than you would get in, for instance 420 so this can be excellent for color grading um, color correction and post edit um, also the, it takes the color profiles from their cinema line especially their wide dr and c log so you can get up to 12 stops of dynamic range also it has a pretty good iso up to 20,000, so you should get pretty decent um, low light performance, even though it's a one inch sensor, obviously not as good as their super 35 mil, uh, 35 sensor in their cinema line, but you should get pretty good, decent low light performance. Now we're also going to take a look at the Canon XC15, um, which is considered their top tire. It, it primarily adds two big features. One, it adds the powered XLR audio module which is the same that it's utilized for the Canon C300 Mark II. So you can um, run XLR microphones for professional audio and also as a waveform monitor for exposure. So those are some really great features for the professional. Um, and a little bit later on, they did add a firmware update to the uh, XC10. Um, that adds uh, MP4 recording. Um, uh, they improved the autofocus. Um, now you get twice the speed as far as autofocus. Uh, better low, low light performance. And now they added three speeds for autofocus, which is great if you want to do um, a rack focus effect um, to get a more cinematic um, look. Um, because it does utilize a uh, touch screen so you can do um, touch focus so by setting the autofocus to slow you can get that smooth transition that looks very professional and cinematic now unfortunately they didn't add the mp4 recording mode for the xc15 instead they decided to add the 24p mode instead so I think this, these are great uh, camcorders. Obviously, there are some drawbacks. For instance, uh, it has a fixed lens, so you can't replace the lenses. Uh, for instance, 4K recording mode only goes up to 30p, so you can't do slow motion very well. However, if you go down to 1080p, um, they do have 60p uh, or 60 frames per second, so you will get decent slow motion. And if you go down to 720p, resolution you can get up to 120 frames per second to get that very smooth cinematic slow-mo super slow-mo <laughs> for this camera so i thought this was definitely worth um checking out and perhaps i'm even i'm going to look uh to use this camera in the future as a b camera for weddings to use with along with my canon c100 so um thanks you guys for watching and see you guys later